On your life? Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the ISU Center of Excellence Keep Training Series. My name is Stéphane Ambiel. I'm the head coach of the Skating School of Switzerland based in Chantéry. And I'm very honored to start this uh, series with the ISU and with all of you. Today, we have um, some skaters from the school. Um, you have here in the room with me, Dennis. And from Iceland, you have Isolt. From Japan, you have Koshiro. Hey. And from, from Zurich, you have Fabienne. Hey. And as well, from Zurich, you have Shalin. Hi. And I'm also super, super happy to have my friends from Moscow, Tatiana and Maxime. Voilà, voilà. So today the plan is to work on strength and to work on plyometrics, which is basically um, jumps uh, to work on your explosivity, which is very, very important for skating. And before that, I would like to do a warm up with all of you today uh, for the work you will need uh, for the warm up a yoga mat uh, to start on the floor. And once we're done with the warm up, we'll need um, weights. What I do is I use water bottles uh, full, uh, which represents uh, 1.5 kilo. Um, I think if you're quite strong and confident, you, you might use a little bit more weight. If you want to do it, uh, um, I mean, very, very good and precise, start with, uh, with, uh, uh, with this kind of weight. Okay, so let's start all together on the mat. Okay, on the back. Okay, and we will start warming up the warming up those hips, our core. You can take your knees to your chest and relax your head on the mat. Start with stretching one leg up. The heel is facing the roof, and we gently move our leg down and come back up. And we try to flex our foot and to stretch the knee as well. And we resist with the going down. We do that eight times. And four, and five, slowly down, six, and seven. You relax your shoulders. And each time you press your leg down, you push with your back muscles on the mat. Switch leg. And let's go with the other one. One, keep your hips square. Press with your back muscles on the mat and six more, three and four. Resist the way down, five, and do very slow movement to scan your body. Six and two more, seven and eight. Beautiful. Keep both legs up, stretch your arms on the side. Exactly. And what we will do is we will open one leg on the side and stretch the other leg up and you close up. And one more time, open, same leg and close. And we do that four more times and open and close. When you open, the leg that is up is automatically stretching up. And one more time and open and close. Let's do the other side, very good. And open, stretch up and close. Beautiful, keep your legs stretched and open and come back up and two more times and open. Beautiful. And last one, open and close. Okay, we try to open, that's beautiful. Try to open one leg down. Then with the other leg, you close down. So you will start feeling your upper body stretching. Close down with the other leg and come back up and close up. Very good. And go down with the other leg and close down and come back up and close up. One more time each side and open and go down and open and close up. You open the book, you close the book down, you open the book and you close the book up. Very good. Okay, stay there, put your feet on the mat, bring your arms along your body. Yes. And we will float one leg up and we will do 10 hip lifts. Very slow up, 
and come down and up and down and up and each time you go up you stretch a little bit higher up keep your hips square the free leg is floating <laughs> we do four more and four and three and feel the pressure of the, of the foot on the floor and last one very good let's do eight on the other foot and one and lift those hips very good and two and three and four and five and go a little bit higher each repetition and seven beautiful and eight okay let's do the other leg again this time we stretch the free leg we keep our knees together we lift our hips we bring our arms up exactly and what we will do we will do a press down with the elbows touching the floor and come back up okay and what you do is you really stabilize your uh, hip lift position and you just have the elbows pulling down okay we do 10 times and one mm -hmm. and two and three press down and four keep your hips all the way up and six and seven and eight two more and nine and ten okay keep your arms up we flex our foot to go down with the free leg and we point to go up and flex down and up point flex five times and two keep your hips all the way up three and four and point last one five and point switch leg very good keep your hips all the way up your knees together stretch your leg and let's press down and two and three and four keep your hips all the way up and six very good guys seven and eight and nine and ten keep your arms up flex your foot and press down point your toes and go up and flex and point and flex and point two more and point and flex and point beautiful bring your hips down release relax shake your legs that's very good so <sighs> our hips are starting to burn a little bit that's good we bring our legs up your head is off the mat cross your hands behind your head flex your feet and we'll do some ab series. So we go up with your heels touching the roof and don't bounce, but really control with your deep abdominal muscles. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. Nine. Don't bounce and ten. Very good. Scissors. So you touch the opposite elbow, you touch your knee with the opposite elbow and the other elbow is touching the floor and you change. And two, three, we do 20, four, five. Very good guys, six, engage your core. Seven, eight, nine, 10 more. And let's go, un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, seven, eight, Enough. This beautiful guys. Okay. Let's go on the side. We do a side plank. Very good. And we do slow movement with the hips going up and down. And eight times. Two, three. Very nice. Four, five, six. Bring your shoulder up there behind a little bit. So everything is in line. And stretch up eight seconds. Stretch your arms in the diagonal. Keep your hips all the way up. Three, four, five, six, seven. We stay up there and we do small bounce with the hips all the way up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's change to the other side. Whew. You're starting to get warm, right? Good. So let's go. And one, and two, and three. Four, five, six, 
seven and eight. Stretch the arm up for eight counts. One, two, three. Keep your hips square. Five, six, seven. Very good. And let's go. Bounce. Small movements all the way up. Five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Go on your uh, front plank, on your hands. Engage your core and let's do 10 push ups. Ready? Steady and go. One, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Go down on your front plank on your elbows and we stay eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, come up on your hands and back on your elbows. And we stay four counts. One, two, three, four. Up on your hands, back on your plank. And two counts. One, two, and up on your hands. Down on your elbows and back on, up on your hands. And stay eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go down on your elbows and up on your hands. Four counts, three, two, one, and down and up to count. One and two and down and up and bring your knees down and stretch. Beautiful guys. So the whole concept of the warm up is to feel warm and to start breathing a little bit heavier. Yeah, so I guess we are all at this point right now. And roll slowly up and you move your mat on the side. Very good. Well done. Everyone is fine? Yeah? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We didn't do the back extension. Let's a good warm up. <laughs> Max, you're alive. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a new exercise <laughs> okay good so uh for our um strengthening we need the weights okay so take your weights with you and you actually will hug the the weight you can keep your elbows uh, slightly up okay and we will do deadlifts so in your deadlift position, what you try to do is to bend with a straight back and with your feet completely parallel, okay? And they are uh, hip, hip width apart, okay? So you just go down forward and you come back up quite fast, okay? And down and come back up fast, okay? And you really bend 90 degrees, let's go down. Resist and up and down and four, 10 times. Down and five, keep your knees straight if possible. And six, down and seven. You feel the hamstring stretching and eight and nine hamstrings are so important for us. And 10, very good. Second exercise, you start with your weights under the kneecaps. Okay, your knees are slightly bent, okay? Your hips are pulling uh, away from you, behind, and we just go with uh, the elbows up and we go on the toes, okay? Make sure that when you go on your toes, you're not using the outside of your ankles, but really the pressure on the big toe, okay? To have strong ankles and straight ankles. So the movement down there is from this position to a relevé. And with the arms, we are just doing a pull up with the elbows as high as possible. We do 10 times, okay? Ready? Get in position with your weights under the kneecap. Ready, steady, and go. Pull up and two and three. And feel the tension in your hamstrings. Yes, and five. Beautiful guys, six. And seven, very good. Eight and nine, bend a little bit your knees. 10, very good. 
Now let's add a squat. So we go up the same way and you go down in a squat with your weight in front of you, okay? The whole concept of the squat is that once you're down in your squat, your knees are in line with your toes, okay? That you're not here, but that you're really in line and that your hip are pulling back as far as possible. If you go uh, even lower, good for you, okay? And what we try to do is extend our upper body with the weight in the diagonal up there, okay? So the same movement at the beginning and add the squat, okay? Let's go. And pull up and press down, very good. And start again, up and two. Nice and smooth. And three, beautiful guys. And pull up, relax your shoulders. And five, good job. Keep your feet parallel. And six. And seven, and remember the releves from the big toe. And eight, no banana feet. And nine, beautiful. And last one, pull up and 10, good. Keep your weight, Ooh, my bottle is leaking. Keep your weight up, open your legs for some grand plies or sumo squats. If you like the image of ballet, call them grand plies. If you like sumo squat, that's fine too. Just make sure your knees, your hips and ankles are in line and stretch your upper body. And five, five more, six and seven and eight. Then it's nice, nine and 10. Good job guys, that was our first series. We did four exercises, and what we will do is we will repeat those four exercises two more times. Sounds good? Yeah? Okay. Yes. 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 So, yes. take uh, take twenty more seconds of rest, and we will mm -hmm. look at Koshiro doing the deadlift. Okay. Okay. We start in five, four, three, two, and feet parallel. Keep your weight to your chest, go down and squat, and go up, sorry. And two, squeeze your butt, yes. And three, beautiful. Go a little bit lower with your shoulders, four, beautiful. And yes, five, so you engage your hamstring. And six, and seven, that's beautiful guys. And eight, control the weight down and squeeze. And one more. 10, beautiful. Start under the kneecaps. Your knees are bent. Very good. And let's go. And bring it up just with the releve. And two. And three. And four. That's good, Dennis. And six. Sorry, five. And six. And seven. And eight. Nice, Isolt, and 10. Okay, let's keep moving and you add the squat. Let's go and pull it up and go down in your squat. One, nice, and keep the weight on both legs equally. And two, that's beautiful, gorgeous. Let's see our Russian friends, and three. Yes, gorgeous, and pull it up, and four. No banana feet, Max. Let's go, let's go. Yes, keep your knees in line. Go, go, go. And five and down, press down. Yes. Let's go a little bit faster. Go, go, go up and six. Yes, that's gorgeous. Pull it up and seven. Yes, three more. And pull it up and eight, gorgeous. Keep the focus straight, Fabian, and Eight, two more, and bring it up and stretch down. And last one, 
stretch and go down. Beautiful. That's gorgeous, guys. Keep your weights all the way up above your head and go for the grand plié. Let's go one. Resist down, come back up. And two. Very good. Keep your knees in line, Shalin. And four. Very good. And five. Come up. And six. Again. And seven. Stretch your elbows. Eight. Nice. Keep your back active. And last one. Gorgeous, Tanya. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, take a break. Let's take one minute and I'll do the third series with you guys. You're doing well? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How is the weather in Moscow? Very bad. Rainy and cold. And sometimes it's snow. <laughs> Still snow. Almost, there is snow in your garden? Uh, no, it's melt right after. Uh -huh. And what about Isol? Do you still have snow in Iceland? Yes. <laughs> still? Wow. It's melting right now, probably. Here in Switzerland, we, we had a great week. Like it, it feels like summer. Yeah. Okay, so let's get ready for series three. Okay. I'll do it with you. It's good for me too. Doing that every day, I'm in a better shape than a month ago. <laughs> so we start with the weights on your chest, cross your arms, okay? Keep your feet parallel, bend forward, okay? With a straight back and let's squeeze our glutes to come up. And two, and activate your hamstrings. And three, on the way down. And four, very good guys. And five. If you need to go a little bit lower with your shoulders, don't hesitate. And eight, and nine, and 10. Gorgeous, start under the kneecap, bend your knees, and let's go with the releve and the pull up. And one, very good. And two, gorgeous, no banana feet, and four, and five, create the tension in your back chain. Six, to the relevé. And eight, bend your knees. And nine, and 10. Okay, very good. And bring it up and go into your squat. Very good. And up and two. Hip bones are going all the way back. And three. And four. Take it slow, control your movement. And five, is it five? And six. And seven, go a little bit deeper in your squat. Eight, keep your focus all the way straight. And nine. And, and gorgeous, keep your weights all the way up and let's go. Open your legs and stretch. One, and two, and three, and four. Feel the back also stretching on the grand plié. You go down, but you feel the way up. Seven, shoulders down, and nine, and 10. Fantastic, guys. So we're done with the weights. Actually, we're, you keep them because I will explain you what we will do for the jumps, okay? We are done with the strengthening. We will just work our biceps and our triceps in between the jumps, okay? So um, we will have five exercises and each exercise will repeat three times, okay? In between the first and the second repetition, we will work the biceps. And in between the second and the third repetition, we'll work our, our triceps. 
Okay, then we move to the second exercise. Okay, each exercise will do three times 10. Okay. So uh, first exercise, you all know the, so we did the squats at the beginning. Uh, we will use the squat position as an initial, initial position. And from the squat, we will try to explode, okay? So we are not going down from the squat to go up, but really trying to get off the floor from the squat position, okay? If it's too difficult with the arms up, because I would like for all of us to go with the arms up from the squat, okay? And from there, you just explode, okay? If it's too hard for you with the arms up, you, you can just go here and you can just go and okay. I would like the back extension with the arms up. Sounds good? So we do 10 of the squat jumps, then we work our biceps, okay? Then we do 10 uh, squat jumps and then we work our triceps and then we do again 10 squat jumps. Are you all ready? Ready for this? Yeah. Let's, let's do it. So arms up, start in your squat position. So remember your knees are in line with your toes. And from there, you only explode. Let's go one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight, nine and last one. Very good, get your weights. Whew. Fantastic guys. And from there, you can slightly bend your knees, relax your pelvic, and we just go. Twist your arms, and don't twist. And twist, and don't twist. And three, and don't twist. And four, gorgeous. It's a bit light, but it's fine. We don't need so big arms, except max. Seven. <laughs> You can take more weight if you want. Sure. And nine, or you can take Tanya to do the exercise. <laughs> okay, very good. Drop your weights. And let's go for series two. Okay, I would like to see, I would like to see, let's do Fabienne. Okay, and arms up, go down in your squat and explode. One, beautiful. And two, press from both legs. Three, and four, and five, five more, six, explode up. Seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. That's fantastic. Max, are you getting off the floor? <laughs> Baby hop. We changed. We <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's take the weights and we will work our triceps. So it's also good for the girls, uh, for their uh, Billman, Billman uh, feeling to engage the core. So if two weights are too much, you can take only one. So we take our weight be behind our head. Okay, you slightly bend your knees, you keep your hips completely relaxed, engage your core, keep your elbows all the way up and we bring the weights up like we would do for a billman. Okay, this is as close as it gets for me to do a billman. And four, engage your core and press with your wings down when you pull it up. Six and seven and eight. Imagine that it's your blade in your hands and you're pulling on your neck, yes. And 10, very good. We bring our elbows back. Okay, completely in line, okay? So I'm not here, I'm not uh, with the chicken wings, but I'm really with the elbows in line and I'm just stretching my arms with keeping the elbows where they are. One, and two, and three, and four, close your rib cage, five, and six, and relax your pelvic, seven, and eight, very good guys, and nine, and 10, and relax. And we have a third round of baby hops. <laughs> Squat jumps.
Ready, Max? Ready, Tanya? Let's go. Bring your arms up, start in your squat. Davai, E. Jump, come on, two. And three, yes, and four. And five, explode from the floor. Six, nice, seven, and eight. Press from both legs, Tanya, nine, and 10. Okay, try to push more from the left, huh? because your right is pretty strong but I feel you're using more right than left. Yes, Choto, yes, exactly, yeah, very good. Good job, guys. We're done with the squat jumps, and our next jump is a pretty hard one. I would like, um, let's check, let's check. I will demonstrate first, it's called the bike jump. So my standing leg is going to do a circle movement, and the knee is going to, try to lift all the way up to the chest to go up. So it's, it's a single leg jump with a rotation of the leg, the standing leg. Okay, I will do it uh, in demo with, um, with Dennis <clears throat> and then you will do it. Okay, so we do, let's do only eight of them. They are pretty, they are pre let's start here. They're pretty hard. Okay, the, the whole concept is to keep your standing side as strong and as long as possible. Let's go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there was not enough room for eight jumps. But Tanya and Max, if you don't have enough space or if you need to go off the screen to go uh, and do them, feel free to do so. Okay? Yeah. Ready? Or if you have a small room, you do two and you come back with two and two and two okay no, for me, so ready <laughs> ready steady and go and one two three four five six seven eight do the other leg and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight beautiful guys very good and make sure your knee, like I was saying before, make sure that your knee of the standing leg is coming up, okay? That you really explode from the, from the floor, okay? So that was theory one. You take your weight and let's do our bicep. <clears throat> so we twist our weights and we don't twist and twist and hammer and three don't move your shoulders four very good and five and use that moment to recover <laughs> and seven and eight engage your core and twist no twist and last one, get ready for your bike jump. I will do it with you guys. <clears throat> we start from here. Ready, steady, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Other side. Go. Good job, guys. Beautiful, I love that. Gorgeous. And let's go for the triceps. A variation, instead of standing, you could also do your triceps on the knees. Now you don't have the mat, but it's up to you, okay? You do it on the knees, bring your weight back there and pull it up. Engage your core and press your sternum down, two. Very good. And three, four, and five. Close your rib cage and let the weight hang behind your head. And seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Gorgeous. And let's bring your elbows back. Okay, bend your arms and stretch. One, and two. Don't move your um chest and four 
And five, stretch your arms all the way back. Seven, eight, and nine, and 10. Okay, gorgeous. Okay, let's, let's watch Koshiro for the bike jumps. And you follow him, okay? Ready, steady, and we start on the right. Go, and one, and two, standing side long. Five, six, seven, eight. One, and two, three, and go. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Gorgeous, Koshiro, very well done. Nice. Do you feel, do you feel one leg is easier than the other? Mm, for me, it's the feel same. Same. Okay. Yeah. And Fabian, what about you? Uh, also the same. Very good. So you feel the same explosivity from the right than from the left. Yeah. Good. And what is the case for you, Isol? For me, it's the same. Same. Okay. So that's pretty nice. Very balanced. Mm -hmm. I I like to to hear that. Um, very good, guys. So the next exercise is um, the same concept of the bike jump, but we will try we will try to bring both knees to our chest. Okay, it's called tuck jumps. Okay, so we're pushing from both legs. Dennis, do you mind showing us the tuck jump? You just do the one on the spot. Okay, so we just go up, 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 up. Imagine the floor is fire, and you're just getting off the floor, off the floor, and you bring, it's your knees coming to your chest and not your chest coming to your knees, okay? You use your deep core to bring those knees up. Okay, we do 10 of those. Ready? Ready, steady. Huh? So Dennis uh, shows a difficult variation without arms. I will do with the arms to have a little bit of inertia. I'm 14 years older. <laughs> It's up to you. Okay, challenge yourself. Let's go. And one, two. Very good, guys. Well done. Woo! Ready for the <laughs> Ah, I'm, I'm totally ready. I'm telling you, after one month doing that every day, oh, God. I'm, huh? We are doing off ice every day. So, Tanya and Max, you will see, you will want to join us every day. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, and don't twist, and twist. Don't twist, and twist, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, bring your shoulders down, and eight, by bringing your shoulder pads down, and nine, and 10. Very good, guys. Immediately into your tuck jumps, get ready, five, six, seven, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, knees higher, Koshiro, nine, 10, gorgeous, guys. And go immediately for your triceps. <clears throat> and pull it up. One. And two. Don't move your chest. And three. And four. Isol, be careful that your back is not too arch. Engage your core. Belly button in. Seven. Yes. And eight. That's nice. And don't move your elbows. And last one. 10, gorgeous. Bring your elbows behind. Bend your arms. Gorgeous, guys. And let's stretch the arms. And one. And two. Don't move your elbows and shoulders. And three, stretch back. And four, keep your weights closer to your hips. Yes, and six, yes, hips. Not, not breast, but hips. Okay, yeah, and nine um, and ten. <clears throat> Just for the next series, um, 
Tanya and Max, instead of chest, try to start your position from here, from your hips back. Huh? Sorry? Yeah, the, the elbows need to be pulled maximum behind, okay? And not here. Exactly, okay? And go for your tuck jumps, ready, steady, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. And how is everyone around the world? All good? I don't, I don't see you, but I know you're there. Enjoying, enjoying the work. Very good. Yes, it's important to drink some water, hydrate yourself. It's nice to share this with, with you, with you all. I hope you're all staying safe, staying in shape, close to your family and your close circle. Okay. Um, Isolt, do you know what is our next exercise? <laughs> okay. I, I will give you a hint. It's the same exercise we just did, but with a variation. Sorry. Yes. So it's the tuck jump, but this time we'll jump sideways. Okay. So imagine, imagine that there is a, um, there is an obstacle in, in between the jumps and you're getting over it. Okay. Exactly. And we do 10. So five each side okay get ready for it enjoy the work and maybe tanya goes in front yeah ready steady and go and gorgeous and Max, for the biceps, do you have a variation uh, of uh, exercise for the biceps? Mm -hmm. Show us. For biceps? Yeah, for biceps, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. It's time for fair skaters. <laughs> I mean, for the oh. chaos case. <laughs> I, I thought, I thought so you to spot like that. Okay, ready? <laughs> we, we accept the challenge. Ready? Go. <laughs> okay. Let's stick to the water bottles. <laughs> Let's go. And twist and don't twist. And twist, very good guys. And no twist. And twist. <laughs> and no twist. And no twist, I lost the count. And seven. And eight. And nine and 10, very good. Fantastic, well done. Okay, second round, tuck jump sideways. Ready, steady, and go. Good job guys, and let's go immediately into your triceps. And pull it up, one, and two, and three, and four, and five. Engage your core, press your sternum down, and seven, and eight, and nine. Don't move your shoulders, 10. And now extend your uh, upper arms all the way back. Keep your weights to your hips, and let's stretch the arms, and two, Imagine you're narrowing the shoulder pads in your back. And five, and six, seven, 
and eight and nine and 10. Gorgeous guys, beautiful. Let's do the last series of tuck jumps. Ready, you wanna see Shalin? Ready, steady, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Gorgeous, really well done, fantastic. So, I promised you five exercises. We already did four of them. So that means we only have one more exercise. Okay. <clears throat> And that, that last exercise is a little bit more specific skating. Actually, everything was, uh, was very, very related to uh, what we need. I was working on, we were working on glutes. We were working on hamstrings. Our back chain is so important for the explosivity. <clears throat> and we will finish uh, that series of jumps. It's not so much to jump up, but it's really to connect our explosivity with the direction. Okay, so I will show you the exercise and we'll use the, the timer for this one. So sorry. Okay, huh? it's not the speed skater. So we will use the timer and what I would like you to do is do a nice landing position. That's your starting pose. The shoulders and the hips are um, forming, are shaping a box, okay? And this box is going one quarter to close from the landing to the air position, okay? And then you go back to the landing position, okay? So you do one quarter to close, one quarter to open, okay? And your toes, your box, and your eyes are facing the same direction. So you're landing and you're closing and you're landing, and you're closing, and you're landing, and you're closing, and land, close, land, close, land, close, land, okay? So it's really that precision of the quarter, of the quarter to close and quarter to open. We do that for 30 seconds. I set the timer. Whew. I would like you, yeah, imagine, so, so you're able to keep your box uh, square, bring your both arms in front, okay? Bring your both arms in front. If you're turning the other way, you do your landing on your standing leg, okay? On your, on your side, okay? And, and make sure that your hip, that your knee, and that your ankle are in one line, and that you're not making your standing side small, but that you actually holding your standing side. Okay, support with your standing side and it closes and it opens and it closes and it opens. Okay, the timer is ready for you. Be ready for it. Five, four, three, two, and go. Close, open, close, open, close, open. Let's do it slow at the beginning. Okay, for 15 seconds and then we'll do it a little bit faster in five seconds. Close, open, close, open, close. And let's go fast. Close, open, close, open, close, open. Dabai, 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 dabai. Allez, allez. Get your glute working. The standing leg should be on fire. And finish. Good. Do you feel the glute working? Yeah. Nice, well done. Okay, I rather so we, feel the calf. Sorry? I rather feel the calf. You feel the calf. That's from the little hop. That's also nice. Make sure in order to get your glute working, make sure your pelvic is uh, even, parallel to the floor, okay? You will engage your glute much better. Engage here, yes. Uh -huh. And do the landing and bring your right hip a little bit um, do the landing position. Yeah, so make sure your right hip is not too high. Yes, and now you have your left glute activated. Left, left glute, left glute, left glute. Yes, exactly, okay? Yeah. So let's work our biceps, okay? 
Let's do. <laughs> Huh? Okay, let's do that. And we do the twist or no? No twist. Okay, so let's do 10 with the arms in front of you. And we just bend and keep your elbows where they are. And it's just biceps. Don't hit your face with the water bottle or your weight. And four and five. Bring your shoulders down and seven and eight and nine and 10. Very good. And go, okay, the triceps come afterwards. Let's go for 30 seconds. Guys, this time you switch legs. So you'll do the same exercise, but the opposite way. Okay, so for Shalin and for Fabian, you start on your right. For Tanya, Max, Isolt, Dennis, Koshiro, and myself, we do it on the left, okay? So the landing position is facing the screen, okay? I set the timer, and we go for 30 seconds. Ready, steady, and go. go. Do it slow, and close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open. In five seconds, we go a little bit faster. Be precise with your quarter and go up and up and up and up. Keep your box very square and go up and up. Up and up and finish. Good job. Nice. Very good. Very, very good. I think this side is easier. This side is easier. How come? Yeah. I think you. I don't know. <laughs> it's maybe it's you know what? I, I feel it's yeah. because maybe our standing side, the right side, which is our landing side, Koshiro, uh, mm -hmm. is maybe so <sighs> overtrained that once we yeah. use the, the other one, it feels like, oh my god, free. it's so light, yeah. light and free. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So let's do triceps. And bring it up one and two and three. Stretch your hip flexors. Yes, but close your rib cage. And five, very good. And six and seven and eight and nine and ten. Very good. Bring your your elbows behind. E Pashley. Let's do it. One and two and three keep your pelvic completely relaxed and five and six and seven and eight and nine and last one ten very good and we slowly come to the end and i like to to set the cherry on top of the cake and in order to do so we will do that last theory for 45 seconds, okay? So you do it your direction, okay? You do your way, but we go for 45 seconds. Get ready in your standing, in your landing position. Everyone in your landing position with a nice smile. Be thankful to yourself for being healthy, for being happy, for being together. Get ready, steady, and go. Close, and close. Keep your focus far. Very good. Close, open. Continue, continue, continue. And a little bit faster for 20 seconds. Go up. Up, 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 up. Dabai, dabai, dabai. This three. Up, up. Keep your pelvic parallel. Five more seconds. Go, go, go. Three, two, and relax. Arasho, well done. Whew. Okay, very good. We have 
uh, two minutes to stretch a little bit. <coughs> so, can you actually go forward? Go forward here. We need a mat again? Yeah, I think we just take two minutes to stretch and then. And then good. So, what if you would like to stretch more free? feel free to remove your shoes. I would like you to start with crossing one leg on top of the other and you take your shin, yeah. And you actually press your, your lower back into the mat and relax your mind, you relax your head, drop your shoulders and feel the rotational muscles of the hips releasing and putting more space in your joints. Um, Isolde, make sure you press with your lower back on the mat, okay? Take your uh, shins a little bit higher. Yes, and then press your lower back. Ooh, press your lower back into the mat or your hips. Yeah, yes, yes, that's correct, that's correct. Okay, very good. And then stretch your legs and do the other side. We have worked a lot our glutes, so it's important that we keep them mobile. <clears throat> Very good. And free, free your mind. Are you able to take your shin, uh, Shalin, the, um, with your left hand? Yes, 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 exactly. And really make sure you keep your knees tight together. Very good. Okay, so this is a very good exercise for stretching your glutes. Um, I would like you to go in a front lunge, please. In a front lunge, you take both hands on the floor on the same side of the foot that is in front of you. And you will do just eight small bounce down with your hips. Let's go and bounce. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stretch one arm to the sky. Exactly. Stre yes, Davai, Davai, stretch. And bounce your hips down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And switch arms to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now you bring both hands down and you do eight more bounce on this side. Let's go. One, two, and press even more. Six seven, eight, and switch legs. Very good, and let's go, eight bounce. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and stretch one arm up. Very good, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and switch arms. Very good, guys, and stay bouncy and mobile. Five, six, seven, eight, bring both hands on the mat and eight more bounce. One, keep your hips square. So you have your hip flexor stretching, seven, eight, and go back with your foot, stretch in a V position. Very good. And in your V position, make sure your heels are pressing down into the floor. Your knees are stretched, your hips are square. You bring your hip bone all the way up, press with your lower back. Relax your neck, relax your mind, stretch your elbows, press with your shoulder, stretch your fingers. Very nice. And you slowly back, uh, uh, walk back with your hands towards your ankles. <clears throat> Take your ankles with your hands and press your nose. Yes, press your chest to your legs and your nose to your knees. Bend both knees and slowly roll up vertebrae after vertebrae. Slowly, 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 slowly to a full standing position. Be thankful for this great work. Thank you so much for your attention. How is it? Perfect. Good. Good. That's great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. It was lovely, lovely um, to see you. And thank you, everyone who followed us for this uh, session. It was such a great pleasure mm -hmm. to share. Um, yeah, to share uh, this moment with you.
I know it's a, it's a hard moment for all of us, like not a hard, like, how can I say, a difficult moment because we are not able to plan much in advance and, and we would love to go on the ice and we would love to, to skate. That's actually my, my feeling. Uh, I miss skating so much. But by doing this, I know that I'm gonna, we are ready to go on the ice whenever the situation will mm -hmm. get better. So keep training. Thank you for the ISU for giving us this opportunity. Thank you for all of you um, for the, the support. Tomorrow, uh, you have a core training in Thailand with the IWIS International, um, International Center in Bangkok. So uh, please join, join uh, the whole series uh, this week. And I wish you all the best. Stay safe, stay home, stay uh, in shape, and, and see you soon. Thank you very much. What Thank you, Steph. Thank you so much. Oh, Max, can you show us? Uh, Dennis would like to see one more time the bicep uh, couple <laughs> exercise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, OK, let's see Tanya and Max doing it. So you, you grab the arm, you grab the knee, and I cross the legs. Okay. And Oof. Oof. <coughs> your core, Max. Nice. Nice. <laughs> right. Okay. So That's the problem, good. the partner who is on the air has to roll. I, I roll. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, roll. Use your hip a bit to help. To turn. Uh -huh. So it's like you roll and down uh, and roll. So it's not just. Okay. I see. It's not only yeah. the biceps work; it's also the yeah. the standing. The partner is helping. Yeah, yeah. The partner also work. So it's like you roll this way. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So guys, you have something to work on. <laughs> next time, next time, try to to show sure. show them how to do that. Okay. Okay. Find a partner. Find a partner, and let's do it. Thank you. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye.